Hello there, welcome to Just Draft. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can use the Spot Healing Brush tool. You can locate the Spot Healing Brush tool under this. You can right click and choose the Spot Healing Brush tool. The shortcut is letter J. Let's see. Spot Healing Brush tool removes marks and blemishes. So let's use it. Right click and click on that. As you can see, I have this sample image. You can use the Spot Healing Brush tool. And there's a panel here or option we can use. For now, we are going to use the normal with the content aware type. So let's say I'm going to remove this spot. By clicking on it, it will remove by the by that option. Control Z. Let's try the create texture. The create texture, it will uh, make it blurry like, like this. Control Z. Let's try the proximity match. You can reduce the size of the circle by pressing the opening bracket and making it bigger by pressing the closing bracket. So let's say I'm going to reduce the size by this. So that's uh, proximity match. It will take a sample by, by its side. So Control Z. You can also change the size of the of this uh, spatuling brush circle by going here as you can see there's a size here you can increase the size as you can see the size becomes bigger or you can press the closing and opening bracket to adjust the size you can do also the spacing the spacing is the separation of the when i press here and i make like this it will create a space between the circles so that's how you can adjust the brush right, control Z. what you can do also is you can adjust this roundness you can make it like this and it will make the circle like elliptical shape so that's how you can adjust this so under this tool, you can find also replace. Let's return this back. One hundred percent. Just the size. Let's say we're going to use the replace. Can do that. The replace is it will take uh, neighboring areas of the image and it will replace to that. Also, there's some option here. Multiplies. It will mix the two colors and the uh, screen will mix also the two colors. The dark, the darken. It will the the dark areas will remain and the lighter uh, parts of the image will be removed. And the light and the lighter the lighter parts of the image will be will remain and the darker parts will be removed. So that's the other option here. Let's say we are going to use the multiply. As you can see it will give uh, different results we can try in the another image like this so as you can see I choose mul multiply so it will it will mix two colors between the pinkish here and the color so it will look for that Click on the content aware so it will. As you can see, the blue become more lighter. For multiply, you can reduce this. So you can play along with this tool. Darken. As you can see, the darken remains and the lighter parts uh, disappears. Like this white disappears let's go to the other image you can use it here also you can separate the image of the of the something let's say we ha I want to separate the selection from this from this layer I will press it click on this and it will create a new layer let's say sampling Enter. 
just double click on this and rename it to sample. Make sure you check on the sample all layers. I want to take all the spots here. Click on the sample all layers and make sure it's normal. So if I select on this and remove the spots. It will go to this image as you can see I can move this control T to transform I can move the this layer separately from that image so click check and control Z to put it back there so, so you can do that way also you can play around with this tool See, I create some space so you can adjust that by reducing the space it will create a, like this you can select that way to remove the spots or you can create more space There's a hardness also option here. Once you reduce the hardness, it will make the selection softer. Say spacing zero or one. So it will make the soft selection. So that's Spot Healing Brush Tool in Photoshop. I hope this video tutorial helps you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.